Hi friends, in this video I'm gonna talk about active low pass filter analysis using Siglent SDS2102 X plus oscilloscope. Before I go to the test bench and examine the filter's behavior in practice, let me talk about some theory here. As you know, this is the simplest form of a low pass RC filter, which obviously consists of, consists of a resistor and a capacitor. The value of the resistor and capacitor defines the characteristics of the filter and its cutoff frequency. It's a noise filter. You can uh, block or reduce the amplitude of the high frequency noises. However, it also introduces its own drawbacks. The main disadvantage of this filter is that the output amplitude of the signal is lower than input amplitude of the signal. And this is dependent on the load impedance. For example, if this is a load, I'm not good in drawing by mouse. Uh, if this is a load, the impedance of the load uh, affects the characteristics of this filter. Uh, to solve this problem, we can use an active filter. And obviously it is called active because of using an op amp here. So the only thing we need to do is to connect the output this of this RC filter to the positive input of the op amp and connect the negative input of the op amp to the output. So as you can see it is a basic voltage follower configuration for the op amp and it solves the problem because the output impedance of the op amp theoretically, theoretically is zero. In practice it's something it's, it's very low um, however, as I said, it's theoretically zero. So the output problem of the output, output impedance solved. The current draw from the uh, op amp input theoretically is zero. However, in practice, it draws a very low amount of current, which doesn't matter really. So the filter's characteristic remains uh, stable and it does not affect it by something because as I said, the current draw is low. Uh, dependent on your input signal, you can select this op amp. For example, if your input signal starts from zero to some positive value, for example, if it is zero, then you can use a single supply op amp. Or if your signal starts from a negative value or something, negative to positive, then you, you should, uh, uh, provide this neg negative rail to the uh, for the uh, for the op amp or use a dual supply op amp. Uh, as an example, you can use the base most basic op amp is LM358. Uh, its uh, bandwidth is low and it also has something like a uh, offset voltage, okay, which is not good for some ADC applications. So you can use rail to rail, to rail op amp such as MCP 6002 MC, oh sorry, MC 602 or MCP 6022. I think this op amp has a bandwidth of 10 megahertz, which is very good. You can apply a bit of high frequency signal to the input. Let's go to the test bench and show you the operation of this filter in practice. Okay, friends, welcome to the test bench. It looks a bit messy. Let me show you the circuit first. So this is the filter. Uh, because the input frequency is low, then it's okay to test this filter on a breadboard. And you, you don't need to use this 50 ohm terminator, because as I said, the frequency is low. And this is the waveform generator, and this is the oscilloscope. In the next step, I will move the camera forward, and I will show you the waveform generator and oscilloscope screens clearly. All right, I move the camera forward to be able to capture the waveform generator screen correctly. 
I use Citland STG 1025, 1025, 25 megahertz waveform generator. Uh, I had to decrease the exposure of the camera because the waveform generator screen is bright. Otherwise, I cannot show you the screen correctly. Anyway, this is the channel one. It's, as it says, it starts from zero to one volt, sine wave, 100, 100 hertz. And this is channel two which generates some random white noise, okay, with these values. Uh, this is a discontinued model from Cyclant. In the newer ones, if you buy, uh, you can combine both channels and you don't need to use both output in this way. So you can combine the noise and signal in one output. Okay. Uh, let me go and capture the oscilloscope screen. Okay, now you can see the oscilloscope screen clearly. Uh, I use Cyclant STS2102X plus oscilloscope. This purple one, this purple signal on channel 2 shows the input signal. And this one, this yellow one shows the output signal. And everything is clear. You can see the filter's behavior in practice. How much noise is the input and how much clear is the output. I recommend you to test your filter in practice before you build your PCB, okay? Um, so that was it. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Also, give me a big thumbs up. Catch you next time.